Welcome back. In this video we will do example 3.6.4. We are asked what is the maximum rate of change of the function w is x y squared z cubed e to the x y z at the point 1 minus 1 minus 1 and in what direction does this maximum rate of change occur? We know that the maximum rate of change is the norm of the gradient and so let's calculate the partials so that we can put them into the gradient. F sub x at any x, y, z is, we take the derivative here with respect to x. We need a product rule first, so we are going to get y squared z cubed e to the x, y, z plus x, y squared z cubed e to the x, y, z times y, z. Cleaning this up a little bit, we'll get e to the x, y, z if I factor that out times y squared z cubed plus x y cubed z to the fourth. Evaluating this at the point 1 minus 1 minus 1. We are going to get e to the 1 times minus 1 times minus 1. Minus 1 squared is 1 times minus 1 cubed plus 1 times minus 1 cubed times minus 1 to the 4th power, which is going to give us minus 2e. F sub y at x, y, z. We repeat the procedure now, but differentiating with respect to y. That will give us 2 x, y, z cubed e to the x, y, z plus x y squared z cubed e to the x y z times x z. Factoring out and cleaning up e to the x y z times 2 x y z cubed plus x squared y squared z to the fourth. Evaluating at the point 1 minus 1 minus 1 will give us the same e times 2 times 1 times minus 1 times minus 1 cubed is another minus 1 plus 1 squared is 1 plus minus 1 squared is 1 plus minus 1 to the fourth is 1 which gives us these can cancel out we get 2 plus 1 is 3 3 e Finally, f sub z. Differentiating now with respect to z gives us 3xy squared z squared e to the xyz plus xy squared z cubed e to the xyz times xy. Factor out e to the xyz and we are left with 3 x y squared z squared plus x squared y cubed z cubed. Evaluating at our favorite point 1 minus 1 minus 1 gives us e times 3 times 1 times minus 1 squared is 1 times 1 plus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4e. So the gradient of f at the point 1, minus 1, minus 1 is the vector minus 2e, 3e, and 4e. The maximum rate of change is the norm of the gradient. which is the norm of this vector. If we factor out an e, we'll get the square root of minus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is 4 squared is 16 plus 4 is 20, 29, root 29e.
That's the maximum rate of change, and the direction that it occurs is the direction of the gradient. Minus 2e, 3e, and 4.